Home Alone is one of those rare movies that was not only successful upon its theatrical release, but continues to endure. It does so much, so well. The feel and essence of the holiday season, and straddling a fine line between laugh-out-loud comedy and encapsulating the warmth that family brings its central characters. Hey everyone, this is Jan Mann, and this is a look back at John Hughes' Home Alone. Macaulay Culkin as 8-year-old Kevin McAllister is one of the best castings in any live-action comedy or any film in general. He emits and epitomizes what an 8-year-old might be and feel like as a middle child in a large, busy, preoccupied family. So many kids and adults know what it's like to feel or be that sibling that is consistently overlooked or doesn't even feel wanted at times which is why the script by John Hughes and the direction by Chris Columbus is so effective, showing this dynamic and struggle between an alienated Kevin and his family who seemingly prioritize just about everything else other than him. His big brother Buzz, for instance, comes across as or is essentially a bully, and no one else in his family, including his mother and father, seem to have any time for or show him any mind. They are even quick to blame him when things or events go wrong, such as when he has had enough of Buzz's mean-spirited ridicule and he charges him in angered retaliation, causing drinks to be spilled and the family's dinner to be ruined as a result. Out of punishment, the family scolds him, making him sleep in the attic. At this point, feeling more dejected than ever, Kevin proceeds to state right to his mother's face that he hopes he never sees any of his family again. And ironically, he gets his wish, believing he truly made them disappear as they actually accidentally or neglectfully left him home alone in a rush to catch a plane for a Paris family vacation. And just like how Kevin's feeling of dejection or rejection by his family is relatable to some extent, so is the feeling of having that childhood home all to oneself jumping on the bed without repercussions, eating junk food, and watching, quote, rubbish, as Kevin says, mocking his parents, and just finally getting to do some things for once and all by oneself is something kids generally like, want, and cherish. He also gets a feel for being a grown-up, washing his own clothes or going grocery shopping by himself, which is all well and good, until both he and his family come to realize how much they actually miss, need, and care for one another. Simultaneously, there is also a more nuanced and sweet side plot regarding the elder neighbor, Marley, whom negative rumors have abounded for years, but it turns out he's a very misunderstood and nice man who's having his own troubles with his estranged son. He and Kevin bond, with Kevin giving his brand of youthful matter-of-factness, all while taking in Marley's elder wisdom, which only furthers the movie's theme about the warmth that family brings. However, aside from the movie's warm message and the relatable familial troubles or obstacles Kevin faces, when Kevin plots and gets his revenge on Marv and Harry, who attempt to rob his family's home, it is pure laugh-out-loud effect of comedy. It is a mixture of slapstick and physical comedy, which is not an easy feat to pull off, as this type of comedy can be more eye-roll inducing than funny, given its more forced or showy nature. But here is executed with just the right notes of seriousness, with perfectly timed physical body, facial, and verbal reactions. It's a credit to Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern and their ability to pull it off so well, to a level that's a cross between Looney Tunes and the Three Stooges' greatness. Furthermore, the entire sequence of Kevin booby-trapping and defending his home the way that he does has also influenced a number of films that people may not even remember or think of when watching. From movies such as The Last Blood, in which Sylvester Stallone's Rambo sets an underground tunnel full of booby traps for his enemies to stumble into one by one, to Phantasm 3, in which, again, a young boy sets elaborate booby traps for enemies to fall prey to one by one. 
Watching Home Alone, a sense of the holiday slash Christmas season is overwhelmingly present, and its message of the importance of family and parents and children realizing that despite any idiosyncrasies each may have personally or in the relationship, a truly loving bond between them, in the end, is what is most important and meaningful.